She's disappointed that this black man doesn't seem to let his race dictate his actions, uh, which she says is not about race. She says uh, that it's not about who he marries or whatever like that. But she's very much showing that it's all about race. Thank you guys for tuning into another video. I hope everybody's geared up and ready for the 4th of July weekend, one of the most American holidays we have around here. Uh, but we'll talk all about it in a second. First, let's start into the stories. We're going to talk about Putin. He's done it again. Uh, Breonna Taylor's mom is pissed. The black attorney general is marrying a white woman. India bans TikTok and 58 other apps. And Tesla is now the most viable car manufacturer in the world. I'm Anthony, and this is Allow Me to Retort. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you're digging the vids. I'm really digging it. I'm so happy that I passed 200 and we're still growing. Uh, why don't you leave a comment, like, subscribe, ring that bell, all those good things that all the YouTubers tell you to do all the time. Do them for me too. Uh, let's jump right into my first story here. We're going to be talking about Russia. This is kind of a follow-up. Uh, this is something I had already talked about maybe in multiple videos. Putin is pretty much a dictator, an emperor over there. And he's always had what I like to refer to as the uh, Putin shuffle. Him and the prime minister and they would just kind of piggyback off each other so that he could basically be president or be in power forever. Russia has now officially voted to reset his presidential run and now he's going to be able to rule until 2036. A whole nother decade under Putin. Uh, if the people like it, then I guess that's what they want. Some amendments to the Russian constitution. Uh, a lot of interesting things were in there. One of the things in there was that it, there's an amendment that outlined marriage between a man and a woman explicitly. So you know where Russia stands on that. Several other things that a lot of our liberal friends over here in America would literally their heads would explode if they had this kind of thing pass over here. Uh, but in there, there was also an amendment that basically resets his presidential count. So when his term is up in 2024, he is now going to be able to run for two more consecutive six year terms, allowing him to be the longest standing president in Russian history. Um, basically, like I said, he's royalty over there. Um, so it's very interesting to see that Russians voted for this. Uh, apparently they took a fair vote. Apparently this is what the people of Russia want as fair as votes can be in a country like Russia. Um, so this is the facts that we have and you can look forward to Putin for a very, very long time. My next story comes from TMZ. Uh, Breonna Taylor's family is outraged and disappointed over the Kentucky Attorney General's engagement picks. Now, I'm sure you all know who Breonna Taylor is. Uh, she's the black woman who was killed when the police executed a no-knock warrant, which they did indeed knock for. Her boyfriend jumped up and uh, fired a gun and then the cops shot back uh, hitting the boyfriend and killing Miss Taylor uh, while she was in bed. I don't really see that there's any proof that this was a racist thing but it's definitely a race thing now because Breonna Taylor's mother tweeted this. Instead of charging the killers of Breonna Taylor, Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron had an engagement party this weekend. I guess they want him to work over the weekend. I understand that, you know, this is her daughter that she's talking about, but she does also need to know that there is process to the way the law works. And typically the law doesn't really move on the weekend like that. And the man's getting married. Then you, what do you want him to do? Like postpone is everything for this case. Uh, I don't really see a problem with this. Um, but here's even more in her tweet. I was shocked to learn that the attorney general for Kentucky is a 34 year old black man, a Republican. When Breonna's mother Tamika asked to speak with him, she had someone else call her. When he ran for office there, a lot of black people were excited and thought, oh my God, maybe we have a fair chance now because it will be a black man in his position. He will be fair and unbiased towards black people. They voted for him. Well, that's why it's important to educate yourself on the people who are running for office. I have no problem with who he marries. That's his personal business. That's not what his post is about. I just don't understand his actions and where are their masks. She's disappointed that this black man doesn't seem to 
let his race dictate his actions uh which she says is not about race she says uh that it's not about who he marries or whatever like that but she's very much showing that it's all about race she even admits that a lot of black people voted for him and apparently a lot of black people voted for him without knowing who the guy was and this sounds extremely familiar i remember in high school when obama was running for president so many of my classmates so many of my peers were excited and ecstatic that it was a black man going to be in this position and oh my god things are going to be better and nothing really changed and that's because you shouldn't vote for somebody you shouldn't look at somebody and judge them based off their race that's called racism isn't it and isn't that what a lot of people are upset about so this just goes to show that it doesn't work stop looking at people and seeing their skin color because what she just did would say oh my god this is supposed to be a black man he's supposed to have our back but maybe he doesn't really care about your race perhaps he just cares about justice being served and he's doing his job to the best of his abilities and on the weekend he's also getting married i don't see anything to be upset about here and it's a tragic story overall uh, but i do not think that this man is in the wrong for getting married over the weekend and if he's getting married everybody there is supposed to be family uh, they've probably all all been quarantining they probably know they're all good so don't look at them and ask where are their mask they are a family all these people probably live together communicate together work together all the time so there's probably no need for them to wear masks and also it's about freedom if they don't want to wear mask then I know you know that's all on them that's their decision ultimately despite the fact that they say it's not about the race they brought it up obviously it is about the race she even mentioned his race in the beginning of the tweet that she was shocked to learn that he was black so they're going to say it's not about the race to cover their tracks but clearly they're extremely upset they're probably calling him a sellout and uncle tom all that good stuff i've heard it all before i know how this goes speaking of race india has banned the use of TikTok in their country. They've banned TikTok along with 58 other apps that they believe have ties to the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, TikTok is owned by a Chinese company that works very closely with the government as well. You know, pretty much any Chinese company that exists is going to work very closely with the government because that's how you stay alive. You have to uh, coat the pockets of the Chinese government in order to flourish over there. Everything is pretty much controlled by the government uh, as part of everything being controlled by the government that means all these independent uh, quote unquote independent companies also take orders from the government so when they say we want you to spy on other countries like the United States or India uh, they do it and that's what's basically happened uh, TikTok and these 58 other apps were found to be tracking users uh, sniffing out their data and getting their uh, keystrokes and all these kind of things from their phone uh, passwords all that kind of stuff would be not necessarily that they were collecting it but these apps have the ability to collect it and uh, that's why Trump and all these other countries are backing out of Chinese technology because it's quite clear that uh, no other country in the world has quite a hold on its big companies like China does and so China can use these giant massive catchy corporations to then infiltrate other places and scoop up a lot of data there was an app on the Google store uh, called remove China apps and that's pretty much what it did you think an app that looks like this is kind of sketchy or whatever but this app was so simple it did one thing you click search it searched through your phone and found any apps from china that were tied to the chinese government and it would give you the option to uninstall them this app got removed from google because they say it it uh, violated their terms of service which apparently was uh misleading you can't have an app that lets people uninstall other apps apparently that's against uh google play services but there's nothing misleading about it it's literally called remove china apps you click a button and it removes china apps i don't see how this app was able to get banned i test it out on my phone and I only had one Chinese app on my phone which was TikTok which I only downloaded to test out this app and it worked uh, I think I still actually have it on my phone so if you're interested to see uh, what you have on your phone and how China may be sniffing out your data go look up remove China apps it's no longer in the Google Play Store you have to be a little tech savvy and download it from the internet and put it on your phone but it will sweep through your phone and clean out all the Chinese apps and uh, uh, if you're concerned about your data it might not necessarily be a bad thing of course there is the whole 
bit that probably your phone that you're using uh, comes from China, but that's a whole nother thing. We'll tackle that later. Speaking of Asians, Toyota, a Japanese car manufacturer, has just been passed by Tesla, American car manufacturer, as the most viable car manufacturer in the world. Tesla has raised its stock numbers over 3%, almost 4% over the weekend, while Toyota has dropped 1%. Uh, this is astounding to see an American company on the top of some charts for once again. Um, it doesn't happen very often. And even when it does happen, most of those American companies are outsourcing tons and tons of workers and tons of tons of resources all over the world. This money is going everywhere else besides right here in America. And a lot of people are uh, upset about Elon Musk because he says a lot of controversial things and he does a lot of weird outlandish things. But if you want to idea of what it is to be an American and what it means to be really living the dream and being passionate about something that Elon Musk is almost the perfect picture of that. I mean, the guy is an immigrant, uh, South African, I believe he's come over here and he's worked his way up into building this massive empire. Now he didn't come over here poor. Uh, his dad also had some clout when he came over here. So he's not coming from rags to riches per se. He's worked with so many companies. Uh, he's innovated in so many ways ways from Tesla, uh, the Boring Company, uh, PayPal, uh, SpaceX, you know, there really seems to be no stopping this guy, uh, but the haters keep coming out, and even a couple of weeks ago, they were voting to out uh, Elon Musk because they were saying he wasn't running the company good, but here you have them breaking records, overtaking companies that have been at the top of the hill for years, for decades, you know, who you think would overthrow Toyota. I mean, this is a huge company. You know Toyota is as some of the most reliable cars on the road today, and they still are, not to take anything away from Toyota, but the fact that Toyota is so great but still got passed by Tesla goes to show that there's something there and there's something there that shows that American companies can still compete in these fields. They just need people. We just need as Americans to back them. And I think we're seeing a lot of policies that our current president, like Donald Trump, is doing to help back these American companies. He's making it harder to do things overseas with these tariffs and these taxes for overseas manufacturers. It's encouraging people to bring the work back here in America. And when this whole pandemic is over, if Trump gets elected again, I believe we'll continue to see job growth. We'll see things turn back around uh, because our economy has taken a huge hit, uh, not to mention that we've been just printing money out like it's nobody's business. And uh, I have a certain way that I feel about that. But hopefully, if this whole pandemic comes to an end and Trump's still in office, we can see more jobs, more American companies do what Tesla is doing and take these pole positions in the international marketplace, make us a contender on the international battlefield again. Because right now, when it comes to money, we are sending it everywhere else besides our people right here in the States. But those are my stories for you guys today. Tell me, what do you think? Is it crazy to you? Could you ever see America doing something like what Russia has done and basically, you know, extending Putin's presidency forever, indefinitely almost, you know, I'm almost certain that if he's willing to, if he wants to, when his term is up at the end of 2036, he could definitely run again. Do you think that's insane? Uh, how do you feel about Breonna Taylor's being upset that the AG got married over the weekend or that he is getting married and he's taking engagement pictures. Uh, what do you think? Do you think it's racist that India is banning TikTok? Do you think it's pointless because a lot of uh, technology, even the phones and the computers and stuff are still manufactured in China and there's no way around that yet? Um, and what do you think about Tesla? Are you super happy to see that America is doing great, that these American companies are on the up and up. Leave your comments down below. Thank you guys for watching another video. Have a great 4th of July weekend. I'm Anthony, and this is Allow Me to Retort.